Hi guys, Holly and I are back today to do some cooking and uh, Holly is going to show us how to make the ultimate breakfast in bed or the ultimate brunch for your sweetheart, your valentine, that special someone, um, or to even show them the video so they can make it for you. I think that sounds like a better idea. Holly's pretty much going to show you how to do everything because I don't know how to do it and we're going to get started right now. We'll first start with a cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of white flour, or all-purpose flour, five tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. And then you just give that a stir. And then you want to cut in five tablespoons of butter. I've already pre-cut it into, you know, kind of a inch cubes. Chopped it up a little Chopped bit. Chopped it up a bit. And, so it's, and it's just, it's soft. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of room temperature. Okay. Um, and I usually just use my hands at this at this point to kind of mix the butter in. She's washed them. <laughs> so you just want to mix the butter in until it kind of resembles like a coarse meal. Just kind of incorporating the butter into the flour. And then the next step, so I have here is I have a cup of cream, um, heavy cream. You want to add that in. And I just take my spoon and kind of incorporate that in. And then my other ingredients. So now we'll add in about three quarter of a cup of raspberry. That's, there's no perfect measure. Um, and the chocolate. Um, you could use dark or milk chocolate. Here we have milk chocolate, kind of roughly, coarsely chopped. Just and add that in. That? About half a cup. Half a cup. Yeah. And again, I your measurements. yeah, not a. You know, there's no science to that part of the um, of the recipe. Okay. Um, so now that's kind that's of. You know, that's mixed up. So the next step is you just want to lightly flour uh, your clean countertop. And I'm going to turn the scone dough out. And I'm just going to flour the surface of the dough so it's not sticky anymore. And then basically I'm just going to break off bits of dough and put them onto my, my cookie sheet. Just about a tennis ball size. If you find that the um, scone dough is sticking and it's a little bit extra sticky, you can add in a bit more flour. It's not, sometimes if you are using fresh berries or um, you know raisins or dried fruit, the, the dough may come a little bit more, become a little more sticky. So you can add more flour. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Bread in? Got a bit of flour. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can you just clean up there while I okay, make it? Okay, just pour me a drink. <laughs> I feel like I like how this is going. The scones are set to go in the oven. Perfect. The ovens should be preheated at 425 and you cook them from about 12 to 15 minutes until the tops are a golden brown. A lovely drink. Awesome. Can't wait to see them. Cheers. I eat them. Oh, I can smell them. Mm, they're so pretty. I can smell the chocolate. I can mm -hmm. smell the raspberry. Yeah. My mouth is watering. We have to wait for the frittata. Join us, you guys, for the next video. Just click on the link because we are going to add a frittata to it. Cheddar, mushrooms, uh, peppers, and onion. And it's going to accompany the scones and a little bit of bacon. It's going to be yummy, so join us for the next video.